welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video today I'm going to be walking you through my at home pamper day slash spa day routine this isn't something that I do that often I like to do it as often as I can because it makes me feel good but this is kind of like my routine that has it has a million different steps and a million different products I don't know I have some products that I want to share with you guys that I like to use when I do this um, so I thought that I would put it into a video so I don't know how long this is gonna take so I guess we should just get straight into it I have a list of everything written down here and then I filmed some parts um, some parts are a little bit hard to film because I was naked um, but <laughs> for the most part this is my routine start off by lighting some candles um, because I like my room to smell nice and I I don't know I love candles I have so many I like like five different ones just in my bedroom so my room smells really good and it relaxes me and then I will usually make myself some kind of drink whether that's like a coffee or a tea or a lemon water or like water with lemon and berries or a shake I have a shake with me right now um, but just whatever I'm feeling I like to make myself a little drink and then I like to um, while my bath is running I have a bath and a shower so while my bath is running I like to put on a face mask um, at the moment I'm using the sand and sky Australian pink clay pore refining face mask um, this one is my absolute favorite at the moment um, so it says to use um, one to two times a week if you have dry skin or two to three times a week if you have combination or oily skin um, so basically you just put it on your face like any normal face mask um, and my favorite part of this is once it dries instead of sometimes I'll wash it off if I'm having a shower like I am in this video but if I'm not and I'm just doing my face mask I like to wait until it dries and then kind of like crack it off if you know what I mean like if you sit with your face really still with the face mask on and then once it's dry you kind of like stretch your face out and like pull it and stuff and it all cracks and I don't know it's just weirdly satisfying so I put on my face mask and I'll also put on some teeth whitening strips as well I use different ones all the time and then I'll just sit in the bath for a while and have my drink and watch YouTube videos or read a book whatever I feel like doing and then once I get out of the bath I like to have a shower I don't know if I know I'm not the only one that does this let me know if you do it as well but even if it's not like a spa routine if I have a bath I have to have a shower afterwards because I feel like a bath is for relaxing and then a shower is for cleaning yourself I feel like I can't wash myself properly while I'm in the bath so once I get out of the bath I have a shower and then while I'm in the shower um, so I use my I'll wash my face mask off um, and I'll use the Too Faced Hangover Wash the Day Away um, Foaming Cleanser. This is new. I've only just started using this, but I'm a huge fan. It really, really helps remove makeup and anything like dirt and anything that's on your face. So this is my new favorite cleanser. And then I will go in with the Frank um, Creamy Face Scrub. I love Frank products. So that is what I use as a face scrub. Um, and then I will go in with the Frank, um, I'll go in with the Frank Caffeinated Scalp Scrub. I've only been using this for a few weeks as well and I absolutely love it. I've never used Frank hair care before this. Um, so basically this you just part your hair while it's wet um, and you put the scrub in and you scrub it in your hair and then you shampoo to wash it out. Um, I don't have my shampoo with me right now because I kind of use a different one, not every time, but I rotate between like three different shampoos and conditioners. Um, most of them are blonde ones, so any kind of purple shampoo or conditioner I use um, to help get rid of the brassy tones in my hair. And then I go in with the caffeinated hair mask from Frank Body, and this you can use instead of a conditioner. Um, I mean, you can probably use both, but it says on here that you don't need conditioner if you're using this. Um, but this smells amazing. It's like eucalyptus like minty eucalyptus tea tree oil I don't know but it smells amazing does it say what's on here I don't know what it doesn't say what the scent is but it smells really really good 
and it just makes my hair so so soft so I put that on and then I do everything else in the shower so that this can kind of stay in my hair for like 10 minutes um, so I kind of try to do everything, all my hair things first, so then I can sit this in my hair while I'm doing everything else. So I will then wash my body and shave my legs and everything that I need to do. And then <clears throat> my, I think this is probably my favourite part, um, is my Sand and Sky Australian Pink Clay Smoothing Body Sand. So this is actually new, um, a new product. They only launched it, I think, this month or last month. Um, but they were kind enough to send it to me for me to test out before it launched. And I am obsessed with it. So it comes in this cute little um, tub. And then and it comes with, this is so cute, um, but it comes with this little scoop, like a little ice cream scoop. And then it's the scrub inside. So I'll insert the video clips and everything of me using this because when you put it on your body, so it's um, a 4-in-1 formula, basically purifies your skin with Australian pink clay and it helps exfoliate and smooth with coconut shell and moisturizers with virgin macadamia oil. Um, and it does have like a little bit of shimmer in it as well, so once, when you do use it, it kind of leaves your skin nice and shimmery and soft and smooth and it's just my absolute favorite thing at the moment. And then, once I wash all that off and I'm out of the shower, I use my Good Molecules skincare routine. There's a lot of steps in this one. Um, so, the first thing I use is my... Um, I either usually switch up between my Daily Brightening Serum or Discoloration Serum. I can't remember what I use first in this video, but these are both... I use both of them, but I switch up which one I use first. The Daily Brightening brightens your skin and Discoloration Serum helps with any discoloration you have on your skin. And then I go in with the Hyaluronic Acid Serum. So basically this just really helps bring out any moisture in your skin. It just really helps replenish the skin's moisture content and makes your skin look super nice and dewy and glowy. And then I go in with the Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer. So this has Shea Butter, Macadamia Seed Oil and Plant Derived Silicone Alternative um, to deeply hydrate, smooth and nourish the skin. So I usually will only use one pump of this because I'm putting a lot on my skin. And then the last step is the pure cold pressed rosehip seed oil. So this is just like a rosehip seed oil. And this just really, really helps my skin look really nice and replenished and moisturized. And I've noticed such a huge difference in my skin after using all of these products. I don't use all of these products every single night. I will use a few of them. I use the moisturizer every night and then um, maybe like the hyaluronic acid and the discoloration serum as well. But I don't use all of them every single night. But when I do, when I wake up in the morning, I feel like a new woman. And then I will go in with either, I will usually fake tan if I feel like it, or I will just put on a normal moisturizer. Today I decided to go with a gradual tan because I kind of didn't feel like being sticky and tan and you know that sticky, gross tan feeling that you get? I just didn't feel like it, so I used my Bondi Sands Gradual Tan. And then the last step is for my hair. So once I take my hair out of the towel, I'll put in the Bondi Boost Intensive Spray. So this just kind of helps with um, hair growth and helps your hair stronger. It's like a leave-in conditioner kind of thing. So I'll spray that through my wet hair and then I'll go in with a wide tooth comb and brush that out. Um, I have to be very careful with my hair because I feel like lately, I don't know, my hair's becoming very thin. So I'm trying to grow it out and take care of it as much as I can. So a wide tooth comb kind of prevents it from breaking and everything. That's all for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. All my social media links are down in the description bar, so you can go and follow me on those. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.